Right boys, welcome to episode 2 of the Sheffield Wednesday career mode. We start off with some really bad news that Jack Hunt is unfortunately out for up to 7 months. It's a good job we signed Daniel Pike from Blackburn Rovers in cover. The next clip you'll see is me going in for Oli Casey on loan. Um, obviously we went in for him last episode on a loan to buy and they, they turned it down. Unfortunately again, we agreed terms with uh, Blackpool, but again he turns us down sadly. Um, the next clip is the first scouting report. We didn't really get anything up, up, up until this guy, Ewan Leach. Leach, I don't know how to pronounce it. And you'll see by his stats, he does not look like a centre forward slash striker. So I switch him to a centre back. Um, it's not going to take too long, I don't think. And we are short on centre back cover. Anyway, the next clip is me selling Callum Patterson for a fee of around £1 million to Plymouth Argyle. That transfer does end up going through. Um, I just don't see Pato really staying for that that much longer um, and obviously this is a team that goes into the game against Charlton Athletic Wednesday while I was recording this I ended up signing a centre back called Alex Fomewo Akin, Akin Fomewo sorry um, and signing permanent from Norwich City so I could try and go in for him but you can see here we've cut to the first clip of the game in the 75th minute and it was 1-0 and it's Josh Windass hitting home from short range then Barry Bannon gets a chance to score from a penalty it's Ryan Innes's handball that does unfortunately for Charles Athletic give Barry Bannon the chance to score from the penalty spot and he does then Dominic Iofa picks up the ball on the right and he charges through and it's a great it's a decent strike for a centre back but he goes straight at the goalkeeper and he's completely fumbled into the back of his uh, back of his own net and then the final clip of this episode is going to be a corner it's Barry Bannon to whip it in it's Ben Hennigan rising highest to tuck it home and the goalkeeper should have done better than that as well so I hope you've enjoyed episode 2